Awesome. So, hi guys, my name is Rahul and uh, I am uh, talking from the MLOX community in Amsterdam. So, in next 10 minutes, I will try to provide the information how you can create a contextual chatbot with LLM and VectorDB. I will try to cover it in 10 minutes. So, um, a little bit of information about the use case. Uh, what is the ultimate use case we are trying to solve and a little bit of information about us. So, uh, my name is Rahul and I am working in Elsevier. And in Elsevier, um, uh, we are uh, a, a research publishing organization, one of the largest research publishing organization, and we have lots of research articles. So sometimes um, we need to, uh, we have some clients uh, who are asking that, uh, can you please provide us information about a topic in last year? So for example, uh, we need EU and uh, that type of policymaker come to come to us and they ask that, uh, what is happening in lithium in the last one year or two years? So sometimes we need to we need to build a team and that team will read all the lithium related documents in Elsevier and um, then they will try to build a policy paper and they will forward this policy paper to EU and UN. So with this LLM, we are trying to reduce this manual effort, expensive manual effort uh, with Langchain, VectorDB and uh, LLM model so that um, this tool can read all the lithium related documents and it can provide the, it can generate the policy paper. And uh, at, the, at the end of the slides, we will show you our generated, one of our generated policy papers. So um, that was the use case and uh, uh, we are a team of three people, uh, Morias, um, Boaz is our intern and I was working on that part. So about implementation, this is the uh, hey, Raul, I just want to interrupt uh, this is the basic is there... chain architecture, but we have changed a little bit uh, in a couple of places to increase the quality of the prompt and uh, to reduce the latency. Hey, so Raul. normally in the chain architecture, what happens that if you are a user, then um, you will talk with the YBY that YBY will call the chain orchestrator. So whenever you are prompting something, that prompt will first go to the embedding model. It will provide you the embedding. And with the embedding, it will go to the vector database. We are using Quadrant. And uh, this vector database will provide you more si most similar three or four documents according to your parameter. And when you will get the result of the vectors from the vector database, it will search. You are asking to go to presentation mode. Okay. This one better. Cool. <laughs> cool. Sorry. Uh, so um, uh, these vectors will send to LLM model to generate the prompts. So little bit of modification we have done. Uh, where we have done this modification, we'll come back to you later. So the first part is embedding. So embedding normally use two parts. The first part is that when you are uh, uh, when you are building this uh, vector database, you need to provide all the vectors of the documents. So we have had around 500k, half million uh, documents related lithium. And we have found that if we use the built-in solution for Quadrant and um, Langchain, it will be like really slow for us. So we have a pipeline um, uh, of our Keyflow PyTorch pipeline, KSR-based pipeline, which is mainly based in the tensorality quantization, which will provide us this um, result of um, thousand of documents in a couple of minutes. So that pipeline we have used to grab the embedding vector and we stored this embedding vector in a NumPy, um, this is just like a list and then we dumped somewhere. And after that, we um, are using this quadrant database where we are uploading these NumPy vectors to this quadrant database. Uh, why we have used quadrant? Because we have found that the documentation is really cool and it will support, it, it supports multi-language. So sometimes you can write your code in Rust, you can write your code in Python. Um, there are a couple of ways where you can uh, upload your vector database to uh, upload your NumPy vectors to uh, quadrant, but we used uh, Rust. Uh, because in Rust, uh, we have just uploaded our 500k vector database in some minutes. Uh, we have a little bit fine-tuned as index, index optimizer and may map threshold values to, to get better latency time um, for when you are searching any prompt. 
and we have deployed this quadrant uh, docker in our cluster so uh, it will provide the uh, when there are like lots of loads it will auto scale uh, scale down to zero everything that can be uh, accommodated in the ka cluster then uh, the third part is the llm fine tuning model so we have tried a couple of models we have tried vikuna 13 billion we got good result opt 6.7 good results bloom not a good results Red Pajama, we are trying to uh, account it now. Uh, we have also fine tuned uh, Falcon 7 billion insert and uh, with our data set, and we have got really good results. So, for the fine tuning, uh, we did a couple of um, coding for that. Um, so, um, uh, we built our own framework where you can pass any type of model uh, with PEFT. So, uh, this is this model architecture. It support Bloom, it support Falcon, it support Lama, any type of models. So, for PEFT, you need to uh, just target some of the layers of the model. So, this is the configuration. And uh, and when you are doing this, uh, when when you, when you are generating this uh, uh, PFT model, you can debug anything from this pipeline. You can see that your trainable met uh, trainable parameters. Um, you can load your models from here, and then um, uh, we can show you actually where we have successfully fine tuned our uh, one of our model with this half million data set, and uh, it take around thirty minutes to to fine tune the model. Uh, we did it for this Falcon 7B, and uh, we did really we got really good results. And uh, for some of the models like Bloom, uh, we are trying to encapsulate with Onyx Optimizer and Triton Inference Server. But we, for this demo, we just using a fast API. Cool. And for the web app, we just use a uh, Gradio to to show it. So I think now it's the demo time. So uh, before that meeting, I just uh, Built a um, Jupyter notebook to show you everything. So this is this Langchain thing where we just embedding that parts and this quadrant local client where we just uh, uh, initializing the vector database. It's really simple. What collection name you want to uh, target and what content payload. Really simple. It will take a couple of seconds to load. And then uh, the Langchain init method. That Langchain init method will be called uh, when you will um, start a start this conversation. Um, this endpoint URL is where your LLM models are hosted. You can you can pass these type of parameters. Uh, this is a little bit of code of the Gradio web interface. And when you will do it, uh, you will uh, see this page. Uh, this is thing, and here you can find in all of your parameters. So um, we have some prompt dictionary. In that prompt dictionary we are using to generate the total document. Uh, Boaz actually has written these prompts um, to get the output. So I am pressing the first one. It will take a couple of seconds to generate the first output. And uh, why this? Taking some time, I don't know. Yeah, it is done at last. So this is this uh, output, and uh, so in that way, we in this in the in this type of prompts, we have uh, tried different different prompting, and we got we, we we find that these prompts are really good for some of the model. So for different different model, we have a different different prompt. Uh, for the Falcon one, we are using these prompts, and we got this output. So it was a disclaimer, it is a title, it is executive summary. Everything has been written by these LLM models. Recommendation introduction and the quality is really good. Conclusion also, we have um, appended the source document uh, from, the, uh, from, the, from, the, from where we got this type of article. And uh, now we are good, we can provide this document to our uh, uh, product owners to review that. So this is about the Langchain chatbot um, that we have built uh, in-house um, using our own infrastructure. I think I am done. Awesome. Thank you so much. Here, let me take your screen away. That was great. Thank you. How did it feel? Thank you. Yeah, it feels good at least. 
Okay, cool. All right, well, make sure to jump over to the chat. People might have some questions for you. And thanks so much. We'll see you later. Thank you. Yes, yeah, see you. Bye.